Hi, I'm Eric. For this episode, we're gonna check out a golf course that few have heard about and even fewer have played. That's because it's inside one of the world's largest and most notorious maximum security prisons, Louisiana State Penitentiary. This is the Prison View Golf Course. I'll find that, right? That's in jail. Yeah, now I'm dragging on this ball and chain. So we're driving to the prison right now. We have about 30 minutes till we get there. From what we've read, it sounds like this particular prison seems not a safe place. Louisiana State Penitentiary isn't just in the city of Angola, it is the city of Angola. Bigger than Manhattan, it's the largest maximum security prison in the United States currently holding 6,300 offenders and 1,800 staff within its 28 square miles. The inmates live in one of several housing units throughout Angola, with the largest being main prison complex. In this unit, we're housing 2,600 people. To give you some idea of truly how large Angola is, if you took main prison, moved it outside the gates of Angola, you'd still have the largest maximum security prison in the state with one of our housing units. Jeez. These two side-by-side -side units that you see are working cell blocks. Their custody status is maximum. Maximum. It's two, two men for cell and they go out and they work. Okay. The, the re-entry club. Yeah, one of the reasons that there's no gang activity here on the right. Warden Kane's Watch is because of all these inmate organizations. Right. And uh, it actually helps fund the reentry program along with the warden's office. I mean, so along with the rodeo. is it just a restaurant? It's a, it's a takeout. Can they earn money here? If they're eligible, and most of them are eligible for incentive pay, uh, we'll start them out at two cents an hour, max them out at 20 cents an hour. So at 27, 27 hours buys you a burger. Can I see those keys? They're huge. Maximum security. At Angola, prisoners can obtain jobs ranging from farming and manufacturing to entertainment and food preparation, or in Panos's case, groundskeeper for the Prison View Golf Course. I was convicted of second degree murder and I received a life sentence. So I'll be working on my 18th year. I live at Camp F, it's a trustee camp, minimum security. I work here at the golf course. Um, for me, this is the best of a bad situation. When did you first like set foot on the golf course? Uh, 2001. Will like? help help build it. Warden Kane has taken one of the worst prisons in America. It's a horrible prison, and uh, now he, under his watch, it's turned into a uh, an extraordinarily safe, secure prison. And uh, he's done that through the moral rehabilitation programs that are in play here in prison. I'm very fortunate that I came here during this administration. This is Warden Pearl Kane. Nice to meet you. I was finally able to get an interview with the man responsible for turning Angola around. Tell me about uh, Angola. Well, the hardest thing in this prison is, the, is we have to fight despair and hopelessness. Human beings have to have something to do. They have to have a purpose in life. We all do. Even a prisoner that's a horrible murderer, you know, we can't change it. He did it. We just got to work on the future that if he ever did get out, he don't kill somebody again. Mm -hmm. And so when you build a golf course and they get to do it and keep it up, it teaches them a basic skill that we got to cut the grass, we got to make it look good, and we got to have pride, pride in ourselves and pride in our work. Then we do quality work because we feel good with ourselves for it. 
once we start feeling good with ourselves, we open up to, to take anger management and to take the cage of rage and to learn how to deal with people. So, so tell me about the origin of the golf course. Well, Dr. Ori was an avid golfer and he was our dentist and he just thought a golf course would be just the greatest thing in the world to keep the inmates here and to do all the things I just said. So how does a dentist get into a golf course design? I went out and bought a book. Reese Jones, you know, how to build a golf course. When I, Warden Kane came by the house and asked me about what I thought after I'd studied it, I said, you don't understand how big a project this is. And he said, well, you don't understand what Angola is capable of doing. We said, well, we have rodeo, so we'll just have the recreation department generate revenue at the rodeo from concessions, and we're not going to use any tax dollars. We're just going to generate our own revenue and put this dude in. And you just got to show us how, because I don't know anything about golf. It's easy to draw on a piece of paper and design a golf course, but the trick and what is unique about this is building it in a prison environment with inmates that don't know anything about golf and then getting everybody in the prison on the same page and helping with what they have. It was something that was starting from the ground up and I thought it was a good opportunity to get in on the ground lift. You know, I'd have a hundred inmates out there and I'd be standing on a four-wheeler yelling at them what I want to do. He went home every night read a book about how to build a golf course and then come back and told us in the morning what to do. And we thought that was great. It was very much a learning about people, learning about how Angola works, learning about what you can accomplish, learning the language, um, and it was really an unbelievable experience. I don't play golf, so I didn't do this for me. Some would say that. It didn't happen. No golf for Burl. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't have sure time. You don't want to try it? I did try one time, but it's not very cool for me to try it. Seems like the ball just dribbles around there, you know. But uh, hey, look how it turned out. It took three years to complete Prison View Golf Course, and today I would be one of the rare non-prison staff to get a chance to play. Do I look like I'm on the tack team or not? Uh, you might need a haircut, mate. <laughs> haircut and shave. <laughs> This definitely is the Prison View Golf Course. Check this out. Yeah. Nice you go. ball. That is a fun tee shot. You're just totally alone out here. Yeah, that's and this this that's all the time. It's in like a private club. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It really is. Hit it. Oh. It's my first putt on these greens, guys. I got to keep my employees here. If I can keep these people that live here, 600 people in these houses, and get them to play golf here instead of leaving, and I have an emergency, then they can respond because they're right here on the golf course. If you hit a driver and you pull it a little bit left, right, you're gonna go in the woods over here. And if right. you push it a little to the right, then you go in this. Do stuff you guys here. ever call the woods jail? No. <laughs> you heard that though. Yeah. We've said that. We probably have said it, but we don't. Know. We try to. Even though we're playing on the prison, yeah. this is kind of a getaway, you know. You try not to think about it. Yeah, we try to get away. We play golf. Right. We don't talk jail. Right. Yeah. Good shot. If someone said that you could try golf, would you try it? Well, I'd try it, sure. But I mean, that's not a possibility here. Do you think they should be allowed to play golf? That's a good question. Oh. Psychologically, golf and tennis are the country club sports, you know, and and if we let them play golf or tennis, then that's gonna get out there to the public. Well, they're just going up there to play golf and tennis. We have to share the feeling of that victim. Victims trump in our world. And we always put them first. I don't think I'd be a good golfer. Why? We probably don't have the patience for it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it does take a lot of patience. <laughs> so is your ideal scenario that this prison closes? My ideal scenario is we don't have victims and this prison could close. It won't ever happen, it's like fish, you can't catch them all, but you can dilute it and you can have less victims. But look, if we save one person from a knife at the throat, gun at the head, or being raped, it's worth my whole life. It's always tough. The work is tough and also the fact that you're here is tough. But um, at the end of the day is my favorite part, knowing that I've been able to accomplish something and um, go back and take a shower and relax a little bit and just know that you at least were able to do something positive. 
I wouldn't want to be anywhere else if I had to be in this situation. Well, sunset's definitely the best time to play golf, and uh, it's also a good time to end the show. After spending a day and a half here, I'm kind of amazed at how this place works. Watching people work together on both sides of, of a situation, trying to make the best out of it, is, uh, it, it, was, it was pretty inspiring, you know, and it's definitely something that I didn't expect. But from what I hear, it's the best of a bad situation. So, thanks for watching. What is that? That's a crawfish. Just on the golf course. Yeah, I can see down here. Yeah, see, after 18 holes of golf, we got something to go eat and we finish. Don't throw that thing at me. I'm serious. Hold it. Come on, man. Nah, man. <laughs> Come on.